we're starting with a blank cookie and we're going to use piping icing to outline the cookie. Whenever you outline a cookie with piping icing, you need to find a starting point, which I like corners because it's a good place to start and finish. And whenever you pipe, you lift up and go around the cookie. What you're doing is you're creating kind of a dam to keep the icing inside the border of the cookie. It's like coloring. If you need help keeping your hand steady, you'll notice that I'm using my left hand, specifically my finger, to kind of steady the bag as I go up and around. And once the cookie's outlined, you need to let it set up just a little bit. Um, if you're a beginner decorator and not very um, confident of your skills, let the outline set for maybe like 30 minutes or an hour. That way if you bump it, you're less likely to damage it. But I'm going to go ahead and use one that I've already prepared. And this is called flood icing. It's more like the consistency of shampoo or honey. It's liquid. And whenever I flood, I like to go around the outside of the cookie first, as close as I can to the outline. And then to gauge that I'm putting the right amount in here, because you don't want it to overflow, I cover the cookie, although not completely. See, we try to get all those blank spaces here. That's pretty close to full. And then you're going to want to use something like an offset spatula to smooth it out. I also see a few extra air bubbles in the cookie. In this case, you need to use a food pick and gently pop them to remove them. Um, one tip to keep in mind is that you need to do this pretty soon after applying the icing because once it starts to dry and it cut crust over, if you use the food pick, it'll create a blemish and you don't want that. So, once the cookie is outlined in flood, flooded, you need to let the base dry completely before moving on. This can take anywhere from eight to 10 hours or even overnight if you live in a more humid climate. So I have one here that I've already let dry and we're going to use the food pick to add the little top detail. So what I'm doing is taking a template, which comes with my shape shifter set, and laying it over the top of the cookie. Then I'm using my scribe tool to kind of scratch the design gently into the dry icing. And you can hear, you can almost hear it. See, it's pretty, the icing's dry. Once you move it, see you have a guideline to follow that you've created with this tool. Before piping over it, I always like to use a brush to kind of dust it off so you don't get any weird flakes in the icing. Once you have the outline, we're going to use about a number, this is a number two tip, and we're going to pipe on the top details, and I'm just following the line, going over the line that I created with the needle tool. And I'll also use my food pick again. I've got a little bubble in my piping icing here. I'll move that out and kind of clean it up. Then you have a finished tulip cookie.